Hello, hello. So during this video, I go over the very bare basics of Logi with him. So I know throughout this video, you might rush to the comments and be like, you should have taught him this, you should have taught him that. I was just trying to keep it as simple as possible, I promise you. And plus with Logi, sometimes it's good not to share everything. Keep it simple at first and then let them build on the basics after that. So with that, enjoy the video. You could try and sneak in again if you want, but look, you gotta get a radio and you gotta watch for the green circles. Well, it, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The green circles are bad guys. How long have you played this game, Ram? And can I call you Ram? Uh, you definitely can. Um, I've been playing this game for, well, I tried to talk to you for 10 minutes, so 11 minutes. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't been, how do you already have like an invite to like a regiment or something? Like what? In the, they use accept the Dude. first thing. I have no idea. So 11 minutes and you want to get into logistics right away. That's interesting. What makes you want to get into logistics right away? I'm really bad at shooting. The infantry is kind of hard to learn at first. Did you go to the front lines yet? Have you been there at all? Yeah, I was just at the, like I said, I was in like the middle of the map, whatever that fight is. Mm, mm -hmm. like, Deadlands probably. Died seven times and, and finally you're like, got my nope, voice working. I'm going to go do logistics. I'm going to Minecraft it up. Dude, you know, I mean, fucking happens in squad, happens in every other game I fucking play, so okay. may as well keep the train rolling, you know? What made you get Foxhole? Uh, dude, I literally just got done watching that Moy Dog video yeah. on it, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I shit, I'll fucking try that out. Nice. I'm just going to do the basics with you. This is like 5% of what all logistics is. Like, there's 95% of other things that you can learn, and that's more advanced, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the basic foundation for you, okay? Fucking lay it on me. I will. I do have Discord. Okay, yeah, I'll give you my Discord name and you can add me and then you can just like DM me questions anytime you have questions, so. You, do you guys like have a dedicated Discord for this? Uh, this regiment does, yeah. Like, And then if you, if you press escape right now, you can actually go to the foxhole designated Discord, which is a great place to ask questions and like find regiments that you'd be interested in joining or just anything foxhole related. So we're gonna do uh, a three step loop here. We're gonna go gather the materials. We're going to go refine the materials. We're going to go build you your own truck. And then I lied to you at the beginning Shoot. because this is a four-step <laughs> process. Oh, we're going to go Jesus see how to Christ. make items. And then that's it. We're going to just do those okay. four steps. And then feel free to ask questions along the way. But that's what we're going to do, okay? Okay. I appreciate it. No problem. So if you look at your map right now, press N. N is always a really good... It's the secure map, but it's really good for Logi players because it like blocks everything else out. So just press N. Yep. And then to the very north uh, west, not very far, it's called Weathered Advanced over there. You'll see a little like screw looking thing. Yep. So that's a salvage field. That's where we're going to go get the raw materials that we're going to refine into basic materials, what we call B mats. You'll hear that a lot B mats. And then that's gotcha. what helps us build like 90% of the items in the game. So we're going to go do that right now. So I'll, I'll just do some short. So I think. Uh, one of the biggest reasons players quit this game right away I've, I've heard or seen a lot is they can't find like their own purpose they can't create their own purpose because no one's like no one's on the side over here saying like hey here's a side quest or go do this objective you have to like create your own objectives when you log in essentially if you ever have any questions about anything in this game just get in proxy chat and be like hey can anyone tell me about this and 90 percent of the time somebody's gonna like take your hand and teach you how to do it essentially Cause, Fair enough. Because people in game are super nice. Don't ever go use Reddit or anything like that. They're t all toxic, and not all of them, but you know, like a majority of them are <laughs> pretty. Yeah, Reddit's, kind of. Reddit's a different community. Yeah, it's a possible. different. Yeah, it's a different computer from actually in the game. <laughs> all right. So what we're gonna do here is you get out of the truck. What? What? You'll get your hammer out, and then you'll just start hitting this. So it's like a basic. Have you ever played like any games where you craft stuff? So I I think I actually did this tutorial before I came out here into the world because mm -hmm. then you can like go you, after this you like go to the refinery and like is it just the one material? It like, really sounds like you've played this game for more than eleven minutes. Well, okay, uh, maybe it was like fifteen. <laughs> I like literally ran, did like a couple tutorials, and was like, well, that's enough of that. Yeah, I mean the tutorial. Did you do the basic training stuff? Yeah, I did like, you know, how kind of like what the general controls are and then I did the the thing we're doing now and then that's when I called it quits and I said I think I've learned enough. <laughs> I've learned everything I need to know for this game. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, Foxhole is notoriously 
known for having a bad tutorial. <laughs> and like, there's no like it needs to be linear. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. It, it is not. But at all I'm linear. gonna argue. I'm gonna argue, and it, it took me time to realize this. I'm actually glad that it's a bad tutorial because it makes players like you do this, where you have to come communicate with us and like learn how to play the game. So it like builds community really well. I get yeah, I guess it's a double edged sword in that way where it's like you're gonna push a lot of people away, but like is that horrible? I mean, if you know the devs, they don't really I, I Maverick, maybe you can or anybody else, I feel like they don't care about pushing people away. They have a, a vision a, they have a vision for this game and they they do it what they want. You know, they they said they never are gonna add like microtransactions, like they are I don't know. I think they're just doing what they want to do. Wait, did that mean your loot box video was fake? What? You caught me. Clickbait. <laughs> clickbait. Who would clickbait on YouTube? So how does the rank system work? Uh, ranks mean nothing. Watch this. I'm going to make you rank up right now. Fuck yeah. I will help you rank up again as well. Boom, you're a private. Shit. And then we'll All get right. in our truck. And we'll head back to the refinery. So you kind of know this basic step, it sounds like, from the tutorial. Yes, this very like basic, basic yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, I don't know any like I don't know what any of the materials do or anything like that. I sure. just know if I go to that one building, I could probably mm -hmm. figure out the rest. I don't know. You're gonna do a lot of ineffective things at first, but then the more you play, like the more you'll you'll be able to like use your time better. If that makes sense, like you'll know like okay, this is the best thing that I could do right now for Logi and you know the war. Okay. Spam trenches on the front line. Yeah, spam trenches on the front line. That's one of the I best can do things that. you can do. Yeah. So one thing, another reason players quit this game right away is this game is all about like small victories and in inches. You're not going to see like your efforts of like what you've done say that you've won the war. Essentially, does that make sense? It's not like playing a Call of Duty match where I'm going to go in and get 25 kills and be like, you know what, we won that game because I got 25 kills and died like twice, right? <laughs> Yeah, no doubt. But in this game, it's that's just like... Chad. I know. You know, I was a Chad at Call of Duty Modern War, okay? Well, um, that's why I was, like, interested in the Lodgy stuff, because, like, it definitely seems like, especially in this game, too, just, like, that's kind of, like, the backbone to the whole thing. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, all everything's player-made, essentially, so... The way that I do it most time is I'll just choose one of these steps and just do one of them each night. Like, I'll only go gather Scroop for a night, or I'll only craft items during the night, or... You know, such and such. Like, I won't ever do this loop. Doing this loop is kind of a good way to learn the game right away. You know, what it takes to create these guns and ammo kind of gives you a new perspective. You know, it's like, oh, you have to put in all that work just to get this gun to the front line. All right, so we're going to switch seats. You're going to get in the driver's seat. Okay. Maverick's going to not run me over. Are you sure? Yep, I'm going to sit in this train. Okay, so you're going to click E on the refinery, which you probably know this part, right? Kinda. So click, th and then you'll see in the middle where you can kind of create all the items. And you'll see right. something called basic materials. It looks like an I-beam, and so we call it beam yep. mats. Again, that's like the item that creates like 90% of the items in this game. So what you can do is right click on the barrel thing to the left and click submit all, and then it'll start making beam mats. When it hits 100 beam mats, grab the 100 beam mats, and then we'll go make you a truck. Can anybody grab the B mats that I just put in here. No, so at the very top of that, you'll see. So directly above that barrel, it says personal, and there's like a little tab. Yeah. So this is your personal stockpile. If you look at the bottom now, too, in the bottom right hand corner, it says it expires in two days and one hour. Uh, so if you don't touch okay. this, if you don't touch this for two days and one hour, it will go into public, which is the materials that you see on the right hand side. That's that's where anybody can grab those. So this is a garage, this is where you build vehicles. So we'll get out of the vehicle here and grab a hundred B mats. So just shift clicked. So get out and then press E on the truck and then shift click the hundred B mats. Okay. And then you have to walk over here, you have to stand on the side in the garage to actually build the, the vehicle. Uh, so press E for garage. Okay. And then you're going to choose the dune truck, which is on the very right-hand side, the very far right vehicle, dune transport. Is this like the uh, the meta? This uh, is the standard truck for the award. Yes. Yeah. And then you have to put your get your hammer out. But luckily, luckily, you me. don't have to do this every time. I'm just teaching it to you right now because sometimes there's parking lots like outside of this. There's just free trucks laying around. 
Sometimes you can get trucks at seaports or storage depots. That's again, kind of going beyond the, the 5% that I'm teaching you right now, but you don't have to do this every yeah. time and you'll learn that. You'll figure that out. You can also get them with a menacing look and a wrench. It's true. Wrenches are, wrenches are your friend. Never, never leave a bay. If there are wrenches where you spawn, grab one and you'll be a happier person for it. Is it like faster than a hammer or something? Uh, you can just actually no. find a vehicle that's locked and unwrench it and take it for yourself. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so you can get in this vehicle and press L, which locks it. But if you say you were to log off and like just leave this somewhere, after a certain time period, somebody can go and wrench it and take it. Okay, gotcha. So now, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You're, uh, you're low on fuel, my friend. Come over here. Come over by okay. this yellow tank. Yeah, get, get out of the vehicle. Don't get ran over. Maverick. <laughs> Is friendly fire uh, on here? Press E. Press E on the dune truck. Over here. Okay. And then the fuel thing is in the top right. You'll click the, the refuel button up there. Fucking Maverick. So E, E on the, the dune truck. There you go. And you'll see the little hose and it's filling up. Wow. I know. Fancy, huh? This is amazing. Okay, so once it's full, get in your dune truck. And then we're going to go to the factory over here. So just stroll right up to it. Press E on it. Yep. And then in the middle, have, did you get to mess with this in the tutorial? Or? No. Okay, so right in the middle, like all of your useful information is usually right in the middle when you open up these. But there's production. You can click all the little tabs up there and it goes over different items. So you got like your basic like guns and ammo and infantry items. You got like your gotcha. an anti-tank, which is the bomb looking icon. Uh, the bullet in the box is like all of your artillery stuff or tank items. The wrench is a lot of your utility items like radios, wrenches. Holy fuck. Yeah, all that. So, And you can hover over them and it says how many BMATs it is. Um, and then there's the plus sign, which is all your medical stuff. So you can make shirts, which is what helps people respawn at bunkers. Oh. And then you can do like bandages and things like that. So if you click them, you'll see them pop up on the right-hand side. And then you, you can do four at a time. You, won't, you, you don't have the B mats on you to make any of it. So you'll have to go back to the refinery, get the B mats that are probably done, come back here, make these crates, and then that's when you've made items and stuff. And then you just press, the, gotcha. you press them four times and you press the plus sign. And you can make items in every category if you have enough materials. So that's basically 5%, probably, probably even lower, honestly. <laughs> It's five percent of logistics. Well, I could do one thing now. Yeah. So that's more so, than before. So my next my next steps for you would be to um, get in the foxhole, the main foxhole Discord, see if like there's a certain regiment that you want to join, like a logistics one, like FMAT's a really good one. Um, WLL if they're accepting people, obviously, but FMAT's like the main warden one that's been around for a really long time. Um, and then the other good thing that you can do is just like kind of what you did tonight is just ask questions to people. Like if you want to know specific things. Well, what the hell is this one then? What are you looking at? Well, like, what am I in right now? Uh, I have no idea. You probably just accepted a random one. You can press F1. You can press F1 and then you can see the regiment on the left, right hand side. And then there's somewhere over there. I'm not in a regiment right now, so I don't know where the button is to leave it, but you can leave it somewhere. I am not in a regiment. What's Boggs then? What's what? What is that matter? Uh, that's. I I think that's probably just my Steam name. Oh, that's just part of your name. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's like <laughs> oddly the same. Yeah, formatting. it's in the brackets and everything. I'm like, well, that's strange. Right. Okay, so anyways, when you join a regiment, you get the brackets, so you'll have double brackets, which will look really fun. Where's a good place for me to go to like kind of just see what? Because you know, like I it. I, as much as fun as it sounds to drive to the front lines and spend two hours building by myself, is there like people that build yep. and get like you yep. know five people yep. together or whatever? Yep. So, kind of the best way to sometimes do that too is just to use the chat. You want to use the world chat, so you can press enter and then you can like press tab to like select the different chats. So you can use the world chat and be like, "Hey, I'm new to the game and I want to come help build." And then some pi sometimes people will reply like, hey, yeah, come here and we'll, you can help us build and stuff like that. So again, it's just really if you're like looking for those type of objectives, like I want to go build or I want to go craft stuff, like 
just throw it out in chat or ask somebody around you and be like, hey, can I come help you with this? And then just wait gotcha. till you find somebody that's, yeah, like, yeah, come come do this with us. So that's kind of why it's good to, like, find a regimen that you would like to because then they're constantly doing things like that. Um, if you press M for the map. Okay. And then find the drowned, tra uh, find the drowned veil hex, which is, like, right directly almost in the middle. It's kind of south middle. Yep. And then we have a territory you'll see, like, a little bit to the left of that that has a bunch of map posts is what we call those green markers. Do you see those? Yeah. So you'll see two down there. If you zoom in really close, zoom in really close, you'll see some that say Logi and like need shirts here and Logi list that somebody misspelled. I see that. So you can look at those and people will type out on the front like, hey, we need medic uniforms. We need shirts. We need ammo. And this is where you build the stuff back here and then drive the truck to that spot to bring the items. Very cool. Okay. Does that all make sense? I mean, that's kind of the loop a little bit. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Okay. And then to expedite that, sometimes where if you don't want to go for the whole loop, press N again, the secure map. And I'll show you. So look at um, look at the C port here. So press N and then go. you can press space bar and it'll put you right back where you're at. And then hover over the C port. Yep. So those are created items in the seaport. So all of those, those aren't like uh, individual guns or individual ammo pieces. Those are created ones. So, and created oh, wow. items have like 20 guns in one item slot compared to just like one gun in one slot. Does that make sense? Like they're in a box. Yeah. And then when you right. submit them, yeah, okay. So you want to look at seaports like that. Or if you go, uh, go south uh, in our hex to White Walk. Uh, this is going to be a really bad example, but it's just storage depot. It's the square looking thing or barn looking thing, maybe. Yep. So it has nothing in it right now. But if you look at storage depots and seaports, so we can go to like a more forward hex, like in Drown Vale. Let me see. Let's see if I can find a good example over here. Oh, there is a seaport there. Yeah. So look at the seaport in Drown Vale, right? It's in the baths in the middle. Gotcha. And you hover over <laughs> yep. it, and it already has guns and ammos, ammo there, and even has trucks there. You know what you could literally do right now? Is you could go back to home region, you could spawn in the baths, go to the seaport down there, grab a truck from there, grab some shirts. It has shirts, too. Shirts, guns, and ammo, and then it's a shorter drive to that hex right over there, right? Like, it's... <laughs> and then you've given them ammo and guns and shirts. I think I might just do that. Yeah, you should try that out. That's like a good practice thing to do. So go spawn there. Go to the seaport. And if you get lost, I'm not going to be down there, but just ask questions. Just ask somebody like, hey, how do I do this? Or how do I do that? And then honestly, that's... Hey, how do... <coughs> yeah, how do I uh, or respawn? You, or you can DM me. Um, press exit and go to return to home region like you kind of did earlier. And then you'll just choose the baths as a hex to go to. So what I can I kind of what I just told you to do right now. Sometimes I'll log on at night, and that's the only thing I'll do. I'll just look at like those logi posts, and I'll like look at what seaports are near or storage depots, and then I'll just go deliver stuff. And that's like a form of logi. Yeah, I mean, definitely a good way to get to know the game. Yep, and just uh, I can't stress it enough. Just ask questions to people around you. So sounds good, fella. Yeah. Well, I'll be chilling in the squad too. If you want to chill in the squad chat and ask questions too, I'll be. I'll probably be on only here yep. for another ten minutes or so. All right, sounds good, man. So you can join that uh, anvil. Oh, Discord. it's happening! Oh, I'm dying. You can join the anvil Discord. Did you get partisan? Did you not look at your radio? I did, but nobody was answering me, and there was what do you green mean dots. No one was answering you? What answering you? How do? You, what do you mean answering we didn't you? Hear you? Oh. You gotta look at the green well, circles. <sighs> Did you just lose your truck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, at least you didn't craft all those materials in the back line and drive all the way there and then get partisan. <laughs> that w it would have been more sad for sure. Honestly, you could just you could if you wanted to try again, you could literally go to the baths and do the same thing. Pull another truck, pull the materials because they're all still there. You could try and sneak in again if you want, but look, you got to get a radio and you got to watch for the green circles. Well, it, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. The green circles are bad guys? Yeah, those are the bad guys. The blue circles are oh, the good Jesus guys. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> sorry. Oh, damn it. I didn't Found explain the problem. That. All right, sorry. 
I think dude, I'm I'm coming from the world of like green is good. Right, and I'm looking, right. at, looking at all these green dots, like oh fuck yeah. yeah I didn't okay. explain that very well. That was my bad. So basically, <laughs> fucking literally yeah. ten of them came out. Well, I'm gonna head out. Uh, but Ram, again, if you have any other questions, just shoot me a DM in Discord, okay? All right, fellas. Sounds good. Good to meet you. Yeah, Thanks good for to the hang help. out with you. Yeah, no worries. Take it easy, man. Later. Teaching a new player can take less than 30 minutes if you go over the basics with them, as I've just shown. And it just feels good to be able to teach a new player something about the game, especially when it comes to Logi. I know I missed teaching him a lot more advanced Logi things, but again, that wasn't the goal of what I was trying to teach him. So because I was trying to keep it basic, do you think there's anything basic that I missed teaching him? Something you would have mentioned to him? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. Feel free to join our Discord community with the link in the description below. If you are able and you have the time, teach new players what you know. Stay safe all and cheers.